All right, this is uh, the plane from the first video that we were working on. And you never did actually get to see it fly. Uh, you could see it fly away when I would throw it, but uh, you didn't get to see how it really flew. So I'm going to put that into this video, but I want to show you some of the things that I needed to do in order to get it to fly better, okay? So first of all, if we go back to the tail section here and take a look at it, see if I can get a good angle, you can see that there's a whole lot of bending going on, uh, like for instance right in here, right in this area, the, the, uh, it would bend the, uh, at the uh, elevator uh, on a real plane is bent up so that it, uh, it gives it some up thrust when the air hits it and uh, I needed to do that to keep it from, from nose diving. Uh, remember, this is a metal airplane. This is a piece of metal that we're gonna try to make fly. So it takes a lot of time and a lot of patience trying to get all the little things done. And then you'll notice uh, this, uh, this right here, this, this little bend, okay? Let me see if I can get it so you can see it better. Yeah, there. You notice that it, it, it scoops up and that was to get it so it would turn left because uh, it kept wanting to turn right. And so uh, we've got it so that uh, this, this, the air hits this and makes it turn, uh, turn the way it's supposed to go. <laughs> okay, so anyway, you just have to keep bending and bending and bending. And then another thing that I did was, I don't know if you can see it or not, I put uh, scotch tape around this so that so that these two sections are fastened together and then in order to adjust the weight and balance um, I would pull that out and, and, and uh, when I was first uh, in the first video I didn't have that so these kept changing every time it would run into something and then one of the one of the uh, things that uh, I when I was in the first video when I mentioned that uh, you should cut cut uh, the uh, the original can down down the side and cut it where the uh, ingredients was shown well that just turns out gives us some lines so that we can so that when it crashes and this thing gets pushed in like that we can pull it back out to a point that we have found was exactly the right weight and balance and so uh, those lines kind of help in that respect and then also you'll notice the uh, angle of the wing uh, has to be, or the uh, the curvature of the wing has to be a nice round curvature, otherwise it won't have any lift. And so that's the um, the things that I wanted to put to show you before we take it outside and fly it. I've got it so it flies pretty well right now, and uh, all the little bends and all the little things we did uh, that I did and you saw some in the video and then I made a couple more afterwards all those little things make it so it flies like a glider so uh, so we'll uh, take it outside and I'll set the camera up so that it, the uh, plane will be coming toward the camera so you can see it actually fly in the first video I was throwing it away from the camera and it actually flew but you couldn't tell it was flying so uh, this time, hopefully, we get some good videos of the plane gliding past the camera. And uh, you can see that we can make a, a metal pop can actually fly. All right. So we'll take. Well, there you have it. I wasn't real satisfied with this glider, which was the first one I'd made in 20 years. I should have made another one. The uh, more accurate you are, the better they glide and the slower they glide. But uh, you'll probably want to make two or three if you're interested in doing this. So have fun with your pop can glider. And uh, thank you for watching and come back and visit often.